Well, here we are today with the uh, PlayStation 1, uh, PS1 model, uh, which is a SCPH-102. And what we're doing with this one is we're just going to do a quick little video on replacing the laser. Actually, we're replacing the whole CD assembly because it worked out about $2 more expensive and it solved a few other problems I had with this unit, which I will now show you. So. We've got my new desk here, it's pretty good. Got a new little television for testing, which is very good, very useful as well. So, this one is liquid damaged, but it's also got uh, some damage to the spindle or motor center bit. So, on there, it's actually missing the part where you put the disc on. I don't know how that happens. Someone must have had a very good time with it. This particular little unit also has some liquid damage, which I'll be addressing in a future video, no doubt. Now to take it apart, you need a Phillips head. Uh, size zero, probably gonna be your best bet. But as it happens, I don't have one of those on hand. Oh wait, zero, size zero, maybe size one. Anyway, using a size zero. That's all I have. Make sure your sleeves are out of the way. Now, unfortunately on these, you do have to remove the, uh, or rather damage the warranty seal, which was a new thing that they brought in. I really wish Microsoft and Sony didn't do that because it ruins what could be a beautiful looking console. Instead it's got a big hole straight through the guarantee. Which is unfortunate. Never mind. Function over form. So once you've taken all the screws out the top should just lift away. And if you're unlucky like me you'll see there's a been a bit of a spill in there. And there it is. They're very easy to work on. PlayStations. I'm very, very happy with uh, how well they come apart. Now here's the replacement I ordered from uh, China, Hong Kong. There's the model number. KSM-440. BAM! Because the dirt is gone. Well, there's liquid in there. It's not technically dirt. So this is actually the uh, entire assembly, which is a pretty good deal. Cost me $8 shipped. I did notice that I was accidentally logged into the uh, US eBay site for buying it. And I feel sorry for you folks overseas who aren't near China because shipping is expensive. So there's the uh, assembly. We just compare it to the other one. Yep, that's good enough. They don't give you this uh, cable there, but they obviously do give you that one. Now, the only other thing I can think of that needs to be checked is whether the static point is removed off the laser. Now, I'm not entirely sure where it is on this one, so I'll get to that a bit later. Or maybe I'll just assume that it's already removed. So this one has a uh, one of those stickers on the side just to let you know it's uh, under warranty or at least when the quality control was checked. So first out comes this cable and second out comes this cable. And then once they're out you simply lift it out. It is as simple as that. So the laser on this is probably still good. It's just the spindle I can't use. You can actually get these spindle hubs, I think they call them. But they were about the same price as the whole assembly, so I kind of didn't quite see the point of that. We'll have a look at that though at the end and see how we can remove the laser for you folks who have to just buy the laser. Oh, now I've got to take this cable off. 
because I need it on the new one. Make sure you've got a solid connection. Why are the pins so dirty on this? Actually, why is that not in? Oh dear, you can tell when it's second hand. You can tell, all right. Never mind, as long as it works. Better work. I mean, how can it work worse than one that doesn't? I mean, I could just take the hub off it. So make sure all the uh, rubber things are seated correctly, which I'm having difficulty with for no reason. Cable. Now you can use a new piece of tape if you want to hold that down. I don't know where it's going to go. And then simply put it back together, pop the screws back in and uh, away you go. Let's give it a try. Let's give it a power on. Spin. Well, that doesn't look too good. Whoops. The laser's attempting to read. Or rather, attempting to focus. The spindle spins. But I can't see anything there. Now, this one is liquid damage, so... Let's put our... Cast our doubts aside about the laser quality, even though it looked very second-hand. And let's give this other one a try. So what we'll do is, we'll try popping the, uh, the laser from this one. I do have a few of these. This one seems to work, no liquid damage. Laser spindle noisy. Can't be any noisier than this one though. Still, I guess noise means speed, so I'm not going to complain. So let's get that underway. High speed mode. And again, it looks like this has been used or at least tested quite a few times. I gotta focus on that. Those pins do not look new. And this part up here. Don't mind that on my finger, that's super glue and tissue they managed to stick together. <laughs> and well, let's uh, get it in and see what happens. We don't need to take it apart any further. We can cheat. Well, let's test it first with uh,
So the laser resets back to the front, tries to take the disc, spindle spins. Much like what every other laser mechanism does. This one looks a bit more promising. And there we have it. What game is this? Oh, tell me it's Need for Speed. Ah, it's Need for Speed, there you go. Okay, so that's, that's good. Now we know that this liquid damage one has uh, some problems, which means we get to diagnose it at a later date. Although just to be 100% certain, I am going to try a different laser mechanism in there, just in case that one is DOA. Let's have a quick look. shows that the, uh, the system is having issues with detecting anything. So that's good, we've at least confirmed then that uh, this laser is good, but the system is bad. So using that information we can go ahead and uh, safely assess that one at a later date. When, I do not know. Well, that's also quite a good candidate for the uh, Sci-O project, isn't it? Unless there's something wrong with the uh, CD-ROM controller chip, which would be a bit of a problem, because we need to tap into that. So now I should be able to put this laser back in this one, and it should work. That really does not sound healthy. Sort of looks like the disc is scraping the um, You're kidding me. Is there anything wrong with that disc? I know someone is getting bad feedback. Why why would that happen? How poorly made are these? That is really concerning. Sounds much better now. Oh, it sounds terrible again. Hope they're not all like that. Bought a lot of these lasers. It 
What's it doing? It's giving up. Well, that's no good. That came off there. Yeah. That's not going back on. Oh, there's a reason to use the uh, Sci-O project hardware when uh, the time comes. Uh, cheap CD drives from China are absolute rubbish. Thanks for watching. Hope you learned something. I did. Yeah.